Uh, so this is good. I, I had a job over the weekend where uh, it was video. So I, I had a lot of uh, footage. And so this is my main drive here, uh, G Drive. Here's the Lightning catalog, 4113. This is an up update. And then I the way I was taught is I always have, here's the catalog, and then here's the folder where all your files go, all your raw files. Right. So here's photos go here from it's like it's dating from uh that's miss label. Um uh yeah, but anyway, from June through October, this is what's in here. Uh, but I ran out of some space. I ran out of space on this drive. Uh, if you go here, uh, 905, only 93 gigs left. And, um, you know, we're dumping files from the wedding I shot over the weekend, ran out of space. I always keep a bunch of drives on my desk, at least two terabytes. So there's here's the main drive, and then that's the backup, right? So if I need to swap drives over because I ran out of space, uh, this drive here will get, well, this drive will get cloned to the master catalog. Take a minute to spool up. That's a lacy, I think, 32 terabyte, which is a little slow, but um, she's spooling up. You know, she's thinking about it. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this, this drive will go here. Okay. And this drive gets formatted, the G drive, the main drive, and then this backup goes to long-term storage. So there's a physical um kind of removal from from the set and then this is long long term storage but anyway master photos go here see how long that takes to pull up um once i'm done editing i have one more job to edit on this that'll get dumped into here that's everything i've ever shot um digitally uh, let's see 20 terabytes out of 32 or uh it doesn't say it's 20 terabytes but it doesn't say how many files i think i have to do that through lightroom but anyway so here long term there's the backup um so what i did is i uh just created a new um folder so i'm gonna do it see, i'll do it this way just to uh, for the brevity of this little demo. Um, I already did this and I recorded this video and I didn't have audio, so I'm doing it again uh, just to kind of make a point. Um, but photos go here, right? So I just created a photos go here folder and put the new new folder there. Um, 140, 140 gigs, 100, almost 142 gigs. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take the still file and I added a drive here because I had a, a drive, another drive, because I already went through this whole process. But um, I'll call this go here. Um, and again, this isn't how I normally would label um, file, but for the sake of doing it, I'm just going to do it this way. Just to show you what I, I did when people, you know, um, ask me about setting up a new catalog and kind of going through this process and everything. So... I currently have a catalog open. Uh, we'll go to, I'm gonna call it new catalog test. Uh, well, actually my catalog, we'll call this one 43 test. Okay. And we're gonna put it on that 500 gig drive. See how the only thing that's in there is photos go here. Um, 43 test create, it's gonna ask me to archive this catalog or oh, it didn't, okay. Um, the only thing that's a little funky town um, with this process are right, here's 43 test. I think it's a little funky town because obviously there's nothing in here. And if I go to, well, I'd have to import it to show you. But there's two things that besides there being no folder, my tree sets and um, my copyright won't be in here. Like you have to manually enter that. So the only other thing I kind of do, which not intuitive is Lightroom settings, right? So 
here's the drive I'm operating off of. All that data is already there. I'll just go to Lightroom settings. Um, where am I here? 500 gig, um, 43 test. Here's Lightroom settings. I'll just move that to the trash, right? And then I'm going to empty track. Let me make sure it's gone, gone. And paste. Oh, I screwed up. Yeah, paste. There's the Lightroom setting from the, the other one. So now what I'll do, I think I have to quit, but let's just to make sure. All right. So now I'll launch it. I know I'm going a little fast, but you could pause it anywhere you need to along the way. Um, but so now I just add folder. Uh, photos go here, stills, choose. Uh, I'll just put like wedding, put whatever you want in there. Just for the brevity of it, I'll just put that in there. But see how my metadata is there? ING, that wasn't there. It's there now because I put the, I copy and pasted those settings over. Okay, so now the um, the files are in, right? And if I go to develop mode, here's all my presets. So that little that little thing of like adding <clears throat> those settings, I mean, there's probably another way to do it. That's just how I do it. I copy and paste those over just to make sure they're there. Bam, then all my stuff is there. Um, but that's pretty much it, right? Ran out of space, get a little panic mode. Um, I just temporarily created a new folder here. I didn't show you this originally because like, there's a couple of other things on there that I need to offload. This is just kind of like a temporary hold until I sort out all of my drive. But, you know, of course, you come home from a job, you want to make sure you could, you know, unload and then back up uh, to preserve the client. Also behind me is uh, I keep all the SD cards on the wall behind me and this drive right here 41 backup and that's a whole other thing normally it's the main drive but there was an there was an issue along the way so i had to switch it but i have backblaze um and backblaze where is it oh settings so it'll show you you know what drives are currently being cloned as you can see 41 backup is there so you know the whole thing is redundancy right so um you've got the main drive you've got the backup and then you've got your offsite, and you still have the original cards that were shot if there's any problem. So what's that? Four, one, two, three, and four, the original thing. Something could still happen. The house could catch fire. I could lose a thing. The, the original file could be corrupt. There's a bunch of stuff. Um, but I try to have as many pieces of redundancy in place that I can to hopefully alleviate you know, potential problems. Uh, but anyway, that's my setup. Hopefully that uh, finds you well.